cuties welcome back to my channel and today we are doing large boho braids i was sent three bundles of a 20 inch and the curl pattern is italian curl i received double drawn hair so the bundles came so full i wasn't able to use all three bundles that was sent to me i ended up using two bundles and not even the full amount of the second bundle but most of it the hair is true to length when stretched out it came to 20 to 21 inches which is good because it is 20 inch hair when you don't stretch it out it is about 17 to 18 inches in this clip i'm showing you guys how this hair looks dry and also how it looks when you wet it down and brush it out i really love both looks i like the really big and full look and also wetting it down and brushing it gave it a nice defined look and when the hair dried after me brushing it and wetting it out it looks so cute like look at that but on to the tutorial this tutorial is very simple very beginner friendly i always part ear to ear just to section off the front and the back and then i part down the middle and section off my rows which i did four rows on each side and here's a clip on how i do that step by step so first i put my product in and I comb my product through, especially if there's big part. You want to make sure that your braid jam is fully combed through and your section is laid before even braiding. You want to split the braid in three and start to do your knotless braid. I'm adding in my first braiding hair and then I'm going to continue to braid down. And then I'm going to add in my second braiding hair and continue. And we're going to add in a curl. I'm really filling out these braids just because there's not so much braids. So I want to add a lot of curls in each braid. So at the same time that we're building this braid up, we're also putting in curls. So that was my third piece of braiding hair. And I'm adding product as I go down. That helps keep your natural hair inside the braid and also keep everything just nicely slicked in. That was my second curl. And when you're putting your curls in, you want to make sure that you're leaving enough room to actually braid down the ends of the curl into your braid. That just helps for when you're detangling your braids that it can actually stay in and it won't slip out easily. I added in my fourth strand of braiding hair just as I was passing my client's natural hair just so I can keep the same fullness of the braid as I braid down. The curl that I just added in was my third curl and I just pulled that up. This is my last strand of braiding hair that I'm attaching to this braid and I'm just going to continue to braid down. Fourth curl is getting added into the braid and then I'm just going to pull that up and braid down more. I always like to pull my curls up as I'm braiding down so it's out of my way. If I have a clip or if I have a ponytail above, it easily can just wrap around that area to stay out the way. Then I measure my front braid to my back braid just so I know where to cut and I trim it so I'm not braiding too low down and I'm starting to add in my final curls. So this is my first curl that I'm putting in and I'm not pulling it up. It's my end curl and then I add a second curl to the end of this braid this helps just weighs down the braid and you braid down until you pass the straight part of the human hair that you added in. So that's normally like two to three inches more. Now you're going to take a small piece from the human hair end and you're just going to twirl that around the braid and tie it in a knot. I normally like to tie it in two to three knots just to have it really secure. So I can take my crochet hook and I use a really tiny crochet hook. I stick that through the knot that I created and I pull that tiny piece of human hair strand through the knot and that's really going to secure your braid at the bottom. Nothing should slip down. You don't have to use any glue. Next you take your scissors and you just clip all the flyaways off. This is not your client's natural hair or your natural hair. It's literally just the human hair that will poke out sometimes if you can't tuck it all the way in. So normally when I'm doing hair by myself, I like to install all my braids in and then I like to go back through and put my curls in and then finish the bottoms. For me, it just goes faster when I focus on one thing at a time, like putting the braids in and then putting the curls and the bottoms in. On this row, for my first row, I did two braids and I did two curls. For the back of the head, I did five rows total, two rows underneath the ear, 
and three rows above the ear. For my second row, I had four braids and each braid had four curls throughout the braid and two curls to finish up the bottom of the braid. The amount of curls that you add to your braid is definitely optional. It just depends on how full you want your hair to be. I'm just showing you guys how much I add just in case you guys want the same fullness or the same parting. It is all in detail for you guys. And I make sure for every braid that I put two curls at the bottom to weigh down the braid. There is five braids in my third row and each braid has six curls in it. It's crazy how much hair comes in these bundles. I was only able to use two packs. For my fourth row, there was five braids, and for my fifth row, there was four braids. And I just filled those out. Each inch, I added a curl just to really fill out those rows. Moving on to the front, earlier I said that there was four rows on each side. The first row has two braids and three curls. The second row has two braids and five curls. The third row has two braids and six curls. And for the fourth row, which is the final row, has three braids and seven curls. And on the other side is the exact same numbers that you would do. Now I'm showing this hairspray down. I'm just taking my water bottle that I got from Amazon and I am misting the hair. I had to spray this hair down a lot with water. Like I had to really get it drenched because this hair really likes to soak up water. And so, yeah, you have to get it really wet. I'm putting my Lada Body Mousse on the hair, which I love for a light hold. If you want something more of a heavier hold, I would suggest like a conditioner or a leave-in conditioner. And then you're going to go in with your brush that has the balls at the end, a detangling brush. I was brushing out the ends of the braid just to get a defined curl. But when you're wearing your hair for a while, you need to brush it out, I would say, once or twice a week just to keep it from tangling on you, just like you would do your natural hair if it was out. You would go up on the braid and pull the curls out and brush them to make sure that they just stay nicely detangled. So this is the hair after I brushed it out and defined the curls, and I just really love the way that it turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching.